Hi, this is Chris Hoff with Printistat. What we're going to go over in today's video is what the onboard software of the Carlson CR Plus robot, what that looks like, the settings, and what you can do to configure it to work with a long range Bluetooth handle. All right, this is the Carlson CR Plus screen here. And this is what you're going to do to get your level screen, uh, check battery indications, and you can even even run serve CE on this as well if you're just running without a data collector. So what I'll show you first is what some of these icons mean and what they do and uh, just a couple of the functionality of the button. So first we're going to go to um, right down here we have battery status. So we're at 100 percent and this will actually give you a real-time indicator of what the battery level is at. Um, we're at 100 percent here we can either close out here or hit escape. And next one down here is we have the GeoMax toolkit. So this is kind of what I set up ahead of time for customers. Um, but what we'll need here is a level screen. So what we have here is our um, longitudinal and tangential uh, level bubbles. And we're right here in the center. We're in good shape. And also here is our laser plummet. All these instruments have laser plummets uh, to get over your point. And what I recommend is going with the lowest uh, brightness level. So that this is at 20%. You can actually go up. See, we're up to 40% now and up at 100%. What I like to do is go with the lowest. I can positively identify the center just so uh, what happens is it kind of bleeds out the higher uh, intensity you get. So I like to go with the lowest I can. So here we got a, a nice uh, dark spot, so 20% works perfect here. Um, and then this is also where you get your level screen. So up here we have a level bubble to get you close. And then once you're close, we can use this electronic bubble to get us even closer. So we can either hit escape or OK. We'll just hit OK. And then this is what I set up ahead of time for customers, is the settings with our units. So degrees, minutes, seconds, U.S. feet, we're in Fahrenheit, and pressure is inch in mercury. And then this is where I set up here. We're using a long-range Bluetooth handle ahead of time. Uh, it does have internal Bluetooth if you're going to use a short range, um, but we want to use that long-range Bluetooth handle because we're going to use this robotically, and we need that distance. And then here's your date and time, just to make sure it makes sense. and then our atmosphere. So if we want to change this for seasonal or weekly, um, change it as we need uh, to make sure we get the best measurements we can, and we can update those. So kind of set up. Uh, and the biggest, what you really don't have to get in this too much. Uh, that's just kind of your first day. Uh, I like to set it up for customers ahead of time. Or if something changes with the project and you need to uh, update your units, uh, you can do that on the fly. Uh, so I'll just hit escape here, get out, and we do want to exit. And then lastly, what I'll show you on here is we can actually open up serve CE. So say uh, your data collector goes bad in the field, you can actually run serve CE on this to just get you in and out of the field. Uh, so you don't have to run back to the office. Um, something happens, you run out of batteries. Um, on your data collector, you can actually run serve CE just like on your data collector right here on the instrument. So um, again, this is the basics of the uh, CR2 Plus um, we have here. And oh, let me get it going here. And then what we can do is just exit out of here. And what you'll find the most time, what I run is I turn on the toolkit, and then I just go to the level screen. And then I just keep this on. And then once I get it leveled, I just hit OK and exit out and then just keep it on this screen. Since I'm running robotically, I don't need to be behind here and see any of this information, so I just kind of keep the instrument like this for the rest of the day. Okay, thank you. All right, well, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something today. Uh, but if you have more questions than what we covered here or uh, want to learn something else, uh, we'll have more videos in the future, or you can contact us directly. Uh, one, number, one way is our phone number, 
It's 1-800-811-9889. You can also go to our website at printostat.com, or you can even send uh, myself an email. It's survey at printostat.com. So thanks, and uh, let me know if you have any questions.